Hey guys, this is Wei with uh, My Way to Cook, and uh, since we're all stuck home um, with this COVID-19 coronavirus thing going on, uh, I've been doing a lot more cooking, as, as you guys can probably see with all my videos and pictures and whatnot. Um, and I've been watching cooking videos on YouTube, and I found this guy uh, binging with Babish. I think his uh, gimmick is that he recreates... Uh, dishes from movies and cartoons and, and shows and things like that, which is very cool. Um, and I found this particular dish on his channel. Um, I'm, and I see other people, you know, doing the same thing, but I thought I might give it a try, considering that I just happen to have both the main uh, noodles in stock. Uh, these are not my go-tos, um, but I thought I, since I have about a, a case of something like 36 shin noodles um, in the back there, I, I figured I'd get something, you know, of, of a variety here, and um, that's, well, I just happen to have this. And I also have some uh, beef as well. I just happen to have some beef, um, like cubes and whatnot. Um, it was like that uh, time when, when everything was just sold out at BJ's, and I got the last... Thing of beef cubes it's a, you know basically borderline expired so I'm going to have to uh, cook it more thoroughly so let's uh, get get going with this uh, Ramdon uh, recipe which which is based off of the the dish from the movie Parasite um, full disclosure I haven't actually seen the movie I heard people are uh, raving about it but um, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, I don't, I don't know anything about the movie, really, and, and it's, it seems a little bit weird to me, and um, I don't know if I'm in the mood for that kind of movie at the moment, so maybe, maybe another time. But I do like noodles, so that's something I'm very familiar with, and um, I like to eat noodles, and there you go. So, put that on the side here. Okay, so um, from what I... Saw, you have to put in both the uh, both of the tilly bits into the noodles, as well as the uh, spicy powder. Yeah. All right, and then we save the last two things for later. Um, I'm just going to give it a quick stir. And then put the heat on medium high, and then just let, it, let that go. Um, while I switch over and start working on the meat, I'm going to be a little bit more liberal with the oil for this. I've never boiled noodles in a wok or pan before, um, but we'll get to that. So, I'll bring this over. Um, the guy, the guy did it in the video. He did. I don't think he marinated it, but uh, since my coworkers always complain that I don't marinate my meats, I decided to marinate this particular um, beef and see how it goes. I have no idea what I'm doing. I put soy sauce in there. I put some. Well, two different kinds of soy sauce, some um, uh, tiny bit of MSG, tiny bit of, uh, what is that, cornstarch, sugar, uh, two different kinds of cooking wine, oil, hot oil, whatever, stuff. So we'll see how that, well, how that turns out, but um, my hopes are not that high. But in a time of crisis, we're, we're, we're going to, you know, just go eat stuff. So that should be good. Whew. There we go.
Now, this is stew meat, so uh, it looks like it was cut bigger than I was anticipating. So that might be a little bit of a problem for later, but it doesn't matter. I'm not picky. I'll figure it out. All right, let that go. Get that covered real quick. Mm -hmm. Let's put this away. Multitasking in a kitchen is a uh, skill I'm very envious of. When I first started cooking for myself, I, I eventually learned how to do a little bit of it, but uh, you know, when you're out of practice, it's hard to manage everything. I did not put a timer on, so I don't even know how, how long that's been going. Um, but whatever, we'll make it work. So, put the heat back on, start turning it. Doesn't take very long. Something like this, maybe just a minute or two on each side will be good. Yeah, actually I'm going to toss it. I mean, it looks really good. It looks amazing, actually. Maybe I should do this marinade thing a little bit more often. Um, I'm gonna actually going to cut the longer one. Gives me a chance to actually look at um, how well it's doing, too. I think in the future, if I do this dish again, um, I'm going to use like a, th a fairly thin steak from Target or something like that, and then, which is probably about this thin, uh, this thick, and then just cut that up into bite-sized pieces, and it'll be good. All right, that's about probably about it. I'll put the heat off on the noodles. And go take the water out. most of the water out. So one little thing I'm going to add though is just a little bit of spring onion on top. Uh, let's do this here. Just a little bit more color than what I saw in the video. Uh, probably not what they did, but mix it around, turn the heat down, and we add the additional seasoning from the noodle packs. Oh, come on. There we go. Some more oil. I don't know what kind of oil that is. And the sort of bean paste powder thing. Very interesting stuff. All right. I'm gonna toss that. The, the bean paste powder stuff kind of thickens. And darkens the whole mix. Kind of have to 
get it around. Oh, I can smell that now. Yeah, the bean paste, like that particular noodle, I don't know um, what the dish it's based off of is supposed to be, but it's not um, in the traditional sense of ramen noodles flavors that I'm used to. Um, and it's definitely sort of unique. And you kind of have to be in the mood for it. All right. This actually looks pretty good. Um, while I am going to serve this, uh, right, I'm not going to use my other fancy bowl because this is a ramen dish and I have my ramen bowl thing. I, I don't know what you call this. It's, it's almost exclusively for ramen. And there we go. I'm going to serve this in that. Now, it's very similar to a uh, instant noodle ramen uh, dish that I came up with during my college days, um, which I actually wanted to do uh, on a video, but it, it, I don't have the correct noodles for it. And you gotta get the, like the cheapest noodle. You can't use this 75 cent noodle for that dish. You have to use like a 25 cent noodle for that dish. Um, it's very, it's very, uh, strict in that sense. It's like how you get the cheapest meal you can get for like, you know, $2, um, on a budget thing. Anyways, this is it. Um, I can't, you can't see much of the meat in there, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can see in the camera. This is the Ramdon from Parasite. I'm going to see how it goes. It looks good. All right. See you guys next time.